Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Have you wanted to get into addressable LEDs or do you maybe have some friends who wanted to get into addressable LEDs? But tinkering with ESP boards, wires and such stuff, all kinds of goes over your head? Let me introduce you to the dig to go the newest controller in the Quinn LED lineup and likely the solution for you or that friend. We already did a pre-launch uh, in November last year, but as of right now, the dig to go is fully launched and available, including bundles. And of course, from worldwide and US local through Dr. Z's. So let's take a look at what well, this controller is all about and how even you or that friend, we're talking about that friend, can get started with addressable LEDs in less than five seconds. Or if you're already experienced with addressable LEDs, it's by far the easiest controller to have nearby. All right, this little box you see before you is the dig to go adjustable controller from Queen LED. But before we talk specifications, let's quickly see if that five second claim actually holds true. Prepared for this challenge, I have a, well, a roll of LED strip. It's just generic WS2812B with 60 LEDs a meter. I have a dig to go unit. The pigtail for in between the dig to go and the LED strip. And then just, uh, well, it's hard to show on camera. And a uh, USB-C cord, which is plugged into a charger that is turned on, which both of which can be optionally included. If even the LED strip we have in bundles now, but let's, uh, let's do the challenge. Ready, go. and stop the time. Ha! Well, whatever time that was, this is a script I'm reading, that was quite fast. This controller is literally the definition of plug and play. You plug in the LEDs, you plug in the pigtail into the controller box, you plug in power, done. Everything else is pre-installed and pre-configured. No soldering, but not even screwing in any wires. Just plug it all in, done. Of course, there are a few more steps, such as joining the Wi-Fi AP and connecting it to your own network, but those are well documented in the Getting Started Guide, and I'll release a tutorial video about that later. But as far as setting up the controller for basic functionality goes, it doesn't get much easier than this. And while this box is small, it fits, literally fits in the palm of my hand, and limited in some regards, it packs more features than most controllers out there. So specs, the dig to go is made using a fully custom high quality molded plastic housing. Inside of there, there is a full fat ESP32 with four megabytes of storage that runs the show with plenty of power to drive lots of LEDs. It accepts USB-C in, just like your phone, up to five volt, three amps. So there's a total of 15 watts of power available. It has multiple internal protection circuits, such as auto reset fuses and such, if a failure would occur, and has a fully optimized level shifted LED driver circuit, making sure your LEDs are always driven optimally. Next to those things, it has a few other awesome features up its sleeve, such as having a built-in relay circuit, so that if you want to use this controller using a USB power bank, it's very well suited for that purpose. When you turn off the LEDs, they also don't draw any power anymore in standby. And the controller just sips about 0.4 watts of power, ready to be turned on again. Then for versatility, it has a built-in IR receiver for an IR remote control, and even a built-in high quality digital microphone with a dedicated microphone hole in the case for perfect audio reactive effects. So this thing reacts perfectly when talking to it. Nice. If 
that still isn't enough for you, unlike other commercial offerings, it comes with a integrated USB-C serial programming included and with two rows of pin sockets so you can use DuPont wires to attach other extensions including I2C sensors and screens, buttons or whatever else you might think of. The Dig2Go is also fully natively supported by WLED and there are pre-configured builds available on install.quinled.info with which you can easily reset the controller to its factory state and has everything immediately ready to go, just like I just showed you, it comes like that out of the box. And because it runs WLED, which also ties in natively to Home Assistant, for instance, it really was never easier to deploy an adjustable LED strip somewhere in or around your home. But although this is a commercial project and less DIY, the hardware is fully open no commercial lockdowns or anything like that. So you, you can always upgrade without worry or even run other custom firmwares on there if you want to. Just flash it using the USB-C and you're done. And all of that in this tiny little box, it even has a cool little button which feels great, <laughs> uh, that literally fits in your hand you can easily take anywhere. So if you've been looking for a no hassle controller that you can deploy anywhere or even take with you and use on the go, I believe this is it. And best yet, it's actually the cheapest addressable LED controller in the Quinn LED lineup. Now, are there no downsides? Well, I wouldn't call it downsides per se, but there are some compromises. Where a Dig Uno, for instance, does five volt, 24 volt and up to 15 amps max, the Dig2Go can only handle 5 volt, 3 amps, so 15 watts, but it has the convenience to work with almost any USB charger or power bank out there. And we all have old phone chargers and you just need a USB-A to USB-C cable or USB-C to USB-C. That all works. It's officially USB-C compliant. And that's it. Generally speaking, if you're not going to go too crazy, 15 watt is more than you think especially if you use the built-in WLED intelligent power limiter. That one only lowers brightness if the effect at that time would ask too much power as a whole. This means that if only some LEDs are lit, like doing effects and such, and each LED has three diodes and maybe only one is turned on, you're still getting full brightness output. Still, it is something to take into account. This doesn't invalidate the Dig Uno or Dig Quad in that sense. so. If you're that guy who wants to light up their room with 100% RGB white and doesn't want to compromise there, get a dick quad, triple inject that five meter strip and you'll get there for sure. <laughs> but if you just want cool effects and want it safe and easy to deploy, get a dick to go and you'll be perfectly fine with a five meter or 16 feet strip. Five volt, three amps is still two to three times more than a lot of those TikTok WLED controllers you see out there, and this is definitely built differently than those. And saving the best for last, the Dig2Go is now available in two types of bundle. You can still get the Dig2Go just as the unit with the little pigtail cable, so you can supply the USB power adapter, USB cable, and LED strip yourself. But now you also have a power bundle, which comes with a verified by Quindor power supply unit and USB cable, so you can just bring your own LED strip and done. Or if you just want it all to work, you get the Dig2Go plus power plus LEDs bundle and you're immediately set. That bundle can be bought in two forms, either with a four meter 60 LEDs per meter WS2812 beast LED strip from BTF Lighting, or with a five meter SK6812 RGBW LED strip, also 60 LEDs a meter, in warm white. This strip is not from BTF Lighting because I felt a different supplier was able to offer a better quality strip for a lower price. So if you've been looking to liven up your child's bedroom with some cool LEDs or you have a bar you'd like to add a strip to, maybe you have some props which are fine with Wi-Fi control or you want to have adjustable LEDs on your next cosplay suit or even on your next camping trip, the Dig2Go will easily enable all of those use cases and you just plug and play and you're done. Now, to make sure everyone has an easy time using the Dig2Go, I've set up the usual pages on quinled.info, 
but also made a dedicated website for just a dick to go, including an extensive getting started guide, helping you to get up and going and answering maybe some first questions. Next to that, there's always the Discord server where you can find lots of us to get some help in getting everything set up. I'll soon also do a full tutorial video installing the dig to go in a real world application from unpacking to finish because, well, just getting it to run, we just saw that in five seconds. <laughs> and well, that's basically it. The controller has already become invaluable for myself in testing LED strips and other tasks. And I tend to grab it because it's just so quick and easy to use. And since the pre-launch on Discord uh, last year in November, we've already received great feedback about how awesome and versatile the unit is. Now, with the official launch, we also have bundles available. It's truly a one-purchase option to get addressable LEDs up and running and might even make a great gift for someone. You know, that friend I was talking about. Okay. Let's hope we didn't crash the Dr. Z store again. But as I said, as of this moment, it's available US local in the Dr. Z store or on Allnet China for the worldwide store. And I thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys back for other videos. Next hardware coming up this year will likely be pre-assembled analog PWM dimmer boards I've been working on for a while now. Those are going to be awesome too, I think. All right, thanks guys. Bye-bye.